afternoon. How are you guys doing? I know it's been a minute. Forgive the look. It has been one rough Sunday today. I've been in and out of the rain today. I've been running around trying to get things taken care of and I haven't been feeling my best. Um, we got a new bed and this mattress is like the devil. I can't, I can't get my bearings together <laughs> to get enough sleep at night. So we're in that break-in phase with the mattress. Um, but other than that, everything is well. How are you all doing? I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded a video and I know that a lot of you have been going back, commenting on the video with this Brahmin large Duxbury satchel. Um, I got a couple of years ago from my birthday. I carry it, but not like I used to carry it because of the Louis Vuitton bags. And I am slowly falling out of love with my Louis Vuitton bags. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I am. Um, I think they're just too cumbersome to carry um, with the medical ailments and issues that I have. The size is wonderful, but I just can't, I can't um, do the things that I need to do. It's just not practical for me. So I'm starting to go back down and condense back down to um, my daily needs and the things that I need to carry on a daily basis actually fits in those bags, but they're just too entirely too heavy to carry. And this is where this came into play. I was loading this bag up and I just, I've been mistreating my toasted almond Duxbury that we got from dealers. Look at this. I'm going to have to get with um, Brahmin and send it to them and see if they can fix that for me. It's slowly starting to pull away and I do not want to destroy my bags. I've been conditioning my handles like I'm supposed to, but um, they're wearing away. So I wonder if they would replace those for me too. And it's just one handle, not both of them, just one. That's the weird part about all of this. But um, the strap is here. I took it off because I recorded this video twice. And um, <laughs> we're not even going to talk about that. But this infinity strap is amazing. I am going back to the basics with Brahmin. Um, I love them. Uh, they're, they have beautiful, beautiful styles. Their bags are timeless. They will never get old. They're classy. They're elegant. They fit any occasion. I have about one two three four five or six brahmin pieces that i love um i have a crossbody a sunny crossbody and pecan and pecan that i love and um it gets more play than any of my brahmin bags <laughs> but i'm going to change that change that very very soon um the i have an iphone 10 here for reference so you can see about this slip pocket it didn't hasn't stretched um it sits right in and that's without a case um i have an iphone 11 now that i use and it has a loopy case on it and it it's a tight fit but it does fit in there you see where my hand is poking out at the bottom that's the depth of that pocket um this tassel here my son got for me from brahmin and it, we got it engraved with my initials and it stays, it lives with this bag. So whatever's on this bag is what's on this bag. I don't take it out. The um, medallion is still like new. Um, it does have a couple scratches, but it's still like new. The hardware is still shiny and, and everything is still intact. I love this bag. Um, on the inside, I do have it stuffed just a little bit um, because I'm constantly, sometimes I change bags twice a day sometimes this inside pocket back here is a full pocket it goes down to the bottom of the bag down there um so it doesn't connect to the slip pocket right here where this one just stops about three quarters of the way down but on the inside this full zip pocket touches the bottom of the bag the bag does have feet feet are very important for, for, for my bags they are very important um, also have on the inside, um, there is a, turn this one, a cell phone pocket here with two ink pen loops. 
and then another slip pocket here and where you can attach something some keys or something of the sort there um the lining does say brahmin i think it's microfiber if i'm not mistaken it does have a couple marks in it or whatever but i'm not getting rid of this bag because this was my birthday bag you know i love all of my pieces um but that louis vuitton is taking me down through there <laughs> It's taking me down through there. And so right now I am carrying the Artsy um, MM and the original. Um, and I'm just going to put a couple things in here just so that you can guys see for reference sake exactly what I do carry. First off, I'm going to take off my Bath and Body Works sanitizer and Peach Bellini. I love this sanitizer and normally I carry it off to the side or we're just gonna stick it right here for for reference sake um on this bag if you have not made it to the semi-annual sale please get there asap um i went i think the weekend before the semi-annual sale started and when they first reopened and it wasn't too bad it wasn't bad at all so there's my sanitizer there in peach bellini I keep that on hand um, depending on my day depends on what wallet that I do carry I do have this small card wallet and pecan from Brahmin it has one two three four five six card slots on each side an ID window and it snaps so you do not lose your cards on each side and it also has a zipper for you to put cash and coins if you choose to do so um, on a good day, I would put that in here. So we're going to stick this um, inside one of these slip pockets here. Um, the other thing that I got for my birthday was um, the Skylar wallet. And this was all in the same birthday haul. <laughs> I'm loved. <laughs> you can carry this as a clutch. Sometimes I put this inside of my Brahmin bag. Um, depends on, like I said, what type of day that I'm having, but for the most part, it does come with me. That's a receipt. There's like 12 card slots. There's a pocket and then a zipper compartment and another pocket and a pin loop. And I mean, this thing is multifunctional, multifunctional. So I'm going to stick this in the bottom of the bag as well so that you all can see. Um, I normally carry with me. Um, a part of my multi pochette, Louis Vuitton multi pochette, the coin, coin wallet, and as well as the mini pochette. And I use this for my change or either my earbuds. They go in there and in here. This is just normally a catch all. I'm not going to go through everything that's in there, but I have Carmex, um, my inhaler, I have an EOS lotion, a girl's hands got to stay clean, um, and my medication. I got this from Charming Charlie. It says, because kids. So I let them think that they, you know, they're the reason why I take medication. <laughs> um, they are part of the reason why I take medication. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna stick that in here. Also, uh, Lord, I do carry everything, including the kitchen sink I have. This little kit I got from Old Time Pottery. It's a manicure set um, that I got from Old Time Pottery. So I put that in there. Like I said, I'm learning to condense. So and we're gonna put this phone back in the back pocket. And right now, it does have a little weight to it because of that Skylar wallet at the bottom. So I will not put my um, agenda in there, my Louis Vuitton agenda, I will not put that in there. Um, I will, however, put my one drop um, glucose meter strips and lancets in here. That's one other thing that I have going that um, has been a part of everything that's been happening with me lately. So I'm going to put that in the zip pocket. And then I'm going to put, this is my little monogram bag I got from 31 and this just holds my chargers and my cords um, and my 
uh, original band to my Apple Watch. So I'm gonna sit that in there because you just never know when you need a charge. Those of us with iPhones, y'all know how that goes. Um, and I'm gonna put my make, little makeup bag in here. And I got this from Target, if I'm not, it might've been Walmart. Ruby and Cash are to its buys. Lipstick is the answer. I truly believe that. <laughs> so I have a couple things in here. My Chanel powder, my MAC Studio Fix, um, my MAC Lip Glass and Oyster Girl, my uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy uh, Roller Ball, my Rouge Coco Balm, um, Ego Eye mascara and i'll just drop this in my it's just my touch-up bag so i'll drop that in there and that's all i'm gonna put in there right now because um i don't want to weigh it down and so right now this bag is has a nice hefty you know it's it's weighted if you can see it here it's weighted um and this is just enough. This is what I need. And if I don't need to carry that um, Skylar wallet, I'll take it out. And it still has a little weight to it, but it's not too bad. But did you notice how the structure of the bag changed? So I'm gonna put that back inside. And voila, there we have it. Most of the time, I'm out. It's a shoulder carry. Um, because it is soft leather, um, just depends on how I'm feeling, if I carry, if I zip it up or not. Um, but most of the time, I'm out and about. I need my hands free. I do put it on my shoulder, but for the most part, I carry it this way or as a top handle. I carry this bag in the rain, the sleet, the snow, the tornadoes, <laughs> anywhere and everywhere I can. This bag is one of the best bags I have owned that I have invested in. I do not have to baby that bag like I baby my Louis, um, and I don't baby this one at all. This is a workhorse. If I pay that much for a bag, I'm carrying the bag. So, um, we're not even going to worry about it being um, wet or anything like that. So, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do I give this bag? I give it a 10. I just don't carry it enough. And I'm going to start changing that up. Um, prioritizing what I carry. Prioritizing what I need. Um, because I can't take everything with me. I can't take, you know... I, my mom used to carry a big bag and then put a small crossbody inside of her bag and um, essentially I guess that's what we do because we put the bitty bags inside of bags but um, that's what she did so and I found myself doing excuse me so rude so I found myself doing that as well um, this Brahmin bag again I can't speak enough on how good it has been to me um, when you know something you shouldn't switch what's not working for you and brahman has always worked for me brahman has been truly truly good to me brahman michael kors coach they have been so good to me um and i'm loving every every minute of it uh, my louis are good to me but my brahmans are really good to me <laughs> my multiple shit i don't have to worry about um, because there's only like one small tab of, of Bichetta on it and I really could care less if it gets wet but I don't have to baby my bags not that I toss them around and throw them around you know any of that type of stuff that's not what I do but I'm just saying I don't have to you know cover it up before I go out in the rain I don't have to you know pat it down to make sure that it's dry so that water doesn't stain or anything like that i buff out my bag and then i carry it and and it's good to me so that's all that i have you will see a couple more videos of me looking just like this please don't judge girl i promise you <laughs> 
I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get some things done today. But um, leave your comment down below. Do you have a Brahmin bag? If so, which ones do you have? How do you feel about them? The toasted almond was exclusive to dealers and to um, Brahmin online only. And I think that was another thing that drew me to the toasted almond was the exclusivity of it. So leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload. Let's get on the road to 200 subscribers. I know we have that to do. And I also have a giveaway. So that'll be coming up soon. Love y'all. Bye.